Hey guys, welcome to my channel Gabi Tech Videos and Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to install Cyanogen Mod M11 to Sony Xperia SP. I have Cyanogen Mod M11 installed, but I'm going to show you how to do it, uh, the procedure exactly. First, you need two things. You need root, uh, save the TA if you want warranty, and unlock the bootloader. These uh, three parts you're going to find it yourself on the XD developers forum. I'm gonna put a link in the description for this. Now let's uh, see how we do it. Uh, the ROM is this. This is the M11 build but I'm going to show you. First push the power button and reboot. I set advanced reboot and I'll reboot in recovery. Okay. The phone is rebooting now, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very easy, you don't need uh, uh, too many things to do. Uh, the first two things you need to do is get uh, the ROM and uh, the gaps, Google Apps. Okay, first thing you have to do, go to mount and storage and you have to format system data and cache that's all from here after this it will take a while to format all don't format boot if you format boot you're in a lot of trouble okay now go to wipe data to factory reset uh, wipe it wipe uh, cache partition do that too and then go to advanced and uh, wipe Dalvi cache for now you don't have a operating system now because you uh, formatted the system now go uh, to install zip and choose uh, if you have an SD card like me just choose the SD card if you don't just uh, use the normal one uh, choose first the ROM the CM11 ROM, install it, then install Google Apps and reboot. I'll reboot too, reboot system now, the phone will reboot and everything will be ok. Uh, in my case it will uh, boot a little bit faster, in your case it will boot a little bit slower because he has to install every app uh, and uh, update uh, everything. In this case it doesn't need it because I have the M build and I'm going to show you if it is the M build and uh, it's working very very good and uh, I have it from the day one it uh, started. Now it is going to install or boot in my case. In your case it's going to install one more thing, if you do this uh, after it boots and installs everything, you have to let it uh, around uh, 5 or 10 minutes to stabilize and then you can install everything. You could use Titan backup, you could restore the old backup, just the data, not the system. It's easy, it's very easy. The part uh, with uh, the unlock bootloader and root, it's a little bit uh, Phoenix is, let's say, like that, but maybe I'm a little bit uh, old school, should I say. Now, it boots. It will take a while, in my case, but in your case it will take a while. Oh yeah, this uh, boot animation is um, the Android L boot animation. I have a theme on it. Okay, you could see it started. It's perfect. Now let's get to settings and show you its M build. I put this tutorial because uh, I have uh, many requests for this and I, I'm trying to help you. Look, Synergy Mode 11, Snapshot, M11. Everything is in order. 
exactly 7 October, as I was saying. And uh, that's it. This is the ROM. It works perfectly. I've installed a few games on it. I'm gonna make a few videos with the games. But for now, this is how to install an M-Build or any other Cyanogen mod build. It's recommended like this because you don't have uh, uh, nothing to uh, get incompatibility or problems with speed, with... you know what I mean. You have like a Windows install. You format the disk and install the OS. This is uh, similar but not exactly. This is all. Thank you for uh, viewing. Hopefully I was okay in English. This is my first video in English. If you like it, like, subscribe, share. And if you want more of this uh, kind of videos, just ask. Okay, uh, goodbye.